Hello, and welcome back to this quick Canvas tip. In this video, I'm going to show you where you can easily access helpful homepage templates for your Canvas courses, how you can set a course page as the homepage or start page in your course, and just some best practices along the way. So as always with the virtual learning environment, it's super important that the first thing your students see in your course is something that is clear, it streamlines navigation, and sets a welcoming tone. In the past with our former LMS, it's learning. We have used a template the last few years with some commonalities, just so it's a little bit more consistent for students' sake, but also for staff's sake. So best things to put on that homepage for your course are resources for student use, specifically a very quick way for them to get to the lessons for the week or lessons for the day, depending on how you organize your course. So a fast way to get there. Information on how to contact you for really any day, but just a helpful thing to have built into your course should we ever have an e-learning day and students need that friendly reminder. Some links to other resources in your class if you have like an online textbook or something like that, a quick way for them to get to that, as well as resources to help students should they get stuck on Canvas or, you know, on its learning some student tech guides to help with those resources. So when we think about a home page, it needs to be something that's consistent that maybe you update every now and then with the links for the week and resources for the week, but it should be something that isn't drastically changing every single day, just because of the more change that's out there, the more confusion that might be for students. And we want it to be a little bit more consistent for them. So it's easier for them to transition into this learning environment. So speaking of, if you are a secondary teacher in Canvas versus an elementary teacher in BCSE, your look in Canvas is gonna look slightly different, but both of you will want to leverage home pages on Canvas to keep things consistent for your students. So here's an example of a home page for a middle school and high school course, and then I'm gonna show you an elementary one right after that on my other tab. So here's an example, and it really follows some of those similar principles of what we did with its learning. There's a little welcome message there. Because this is built on Canvas, I have all of those options that was on a previous Canvas tip of the day where I can add in and embed Google presentations, I can have text, I can have links and pictures, I can have a little welcome video, which would be wonderful to add. So I have that there. Um, I have a couple of bits of information here for students, but if you wanna make this Lex text heavy, you can certainly do that. But right below, I have links that pretty much stay, stay consistent for my class. So this takes them to the lessons that we have going on. And I have this set up to where it takes them to all of the modules that they need to be doing for upcoming weeks and for um, the lessons. So it is just super helpful to kind of set that, that flow and organization for your course right off the, right the get-go. With Canvas, the, the method that courses and lessons can be organized in Canvas are called modules. And that's an upcoming tip I have for you. Uh, so I just called quick navigation here modules, but you can call it lessons. It's the same thing. It's where you have to build and organize all of your content in Canvas. So I have a link there. I have it to announcements or reminders for the class. This could take students to the Canvas grade book. And then this could take students to a help page that maybe I create that shows them how to navigate Canvas from the student view and any other resources they might need. So that is just setting a consistent message here for students. And then there is teacher contact information on there as well. So students know how to get in touch with me. Now, if I'm gonna go over to an elementary view in Canvas, elementary, this banner here is wonderful, um, but it's not something you actually build on a Canvas page. So I will show you more on that here in a second. But if I scroll down, very similar thing here, and this is my homepage for my elementary course. I have a little welcome thing here. It can be a video, maybe it's your Bitmoji, whatever you would like to put. And then I have quick access to our lessons. So modules is the, the way of organizing your lessons and resources in Canvas, so you will need to use that. But I called it lessons right here in case that's more clear for students. And then I have the ways that the students can contact me as well. So very similar process here. You add a little welcoming presence, your face somewhere in your course, add quick access links so students and families know where to go and then how to contact you. And if you wanna add anything else, you certainly can. So if you're thinking, how do I get started building this? Similar to It's Learning, you can build pages on Canvas and pages are really gonna be a big bread and butter tool that you could use on Canvas, partly because you can add pretty much any type of content onto a page in Canvas. You can set any page to be your start page for your course, your home page for your course when you have it built out, although I do recommend you use a consistent one. And then on pages in Canvas, 
there are really great ways to share them with others, to make copies of them so you're not reinventing the wheel, but you can also copy some templates that I've built out for you. So if you don't wanna to have to go through and make all of these icons, or maybe you like these icons, but you wanna change the text just a little bit, I have resources that we've published in the Canvas Commons. You can copy into your course and use that kind of as a template or framework to get going on building. So for both elementary and secondary teachers, this is the helpful thing for you to know is that in Canvas, there's a really awesome tool called the Canvas Commons and it's on your main navigation panel here. So if I click Commons, it takes me to this place here in a second where I can look for any resources, I can look for templates and copy them into my Canvas courses. So what we have done is we've put two here that are featured, they show up first, so you don't have to search for them. But these are featured ones that you can copy into your course that have some of these tips on what to include on a homepage and things built out for you already. So if you think about your It's Learning courses the last few years and the page that's been plugged in there for you, similar concept here. We will still do that for your Canvas courses, but we wanted to give you something to practice with now if you wanted to uh, have a little bit more guidance on how to do that. So if I'm an elementary teacher, I can look at the elementary homepage here and look through. And a lot of this is text that you want to delete. Um, I put tips on here for how to build a pretty looking page, reminders on what to include, but most of this text is not stuff you want to keep on here because it's instructions for the teacher. But there's the icon bundle that I use to make these. So if you want to customize and change them, you certainly can. But they're even set up to be the same links that I had made out for you already. So if I really like this template and I want to practice using this, which is what I would recommend that you do, if I click import download, then what I'll do is copy that into one of my courses. And it shows me all of my courses here. You shouldn't need to download it. You'll just click the course that you want to add this into import into course. And then it tells you that it's starting that import. It actually doesn't take it very long. It doesn't give you notification when it's finished, but it is there for you uh, when it's done. So that is how you can do that. Secondary teachers, yours is here as well. So if I'm a middle school or high school teacher, same thing here. And this is a resource for you. A lot of this is just instructions for you as the teacher because I wanted to give you some scaffolding. But if you've already been in here tinkering, maybe you don't need it but I'll click import download and then I can select the course that I want to copy this into and I'm good to go. So if I copy that into my course to find it and to get to it and start making it my own. So it's not just all these reminders for here as a teacher. The next thing that you need to do is navigate to the course that you just copied it into. So for elementary and for secondary, if you click your courses menu, it'll show all the courses you're enrolled in and you can find where you just put that page. So, um, once I get into the course where I just copied it into, I'm on an elementary one right now. I'll show that one first, and then I'll show you the middle school and high school one. But whenever I get to a course on Canvas in the elementary interface, because it is slightly different than secondary, just because that was a wonderful feature we wanted to make sure was turned on for you all. If I want to find that page I just copied in, because maybe it isn't showing up right here right away, I'm going to click Manage Subject. And then I see all of these different places where I can build in Canvas. So I will click Pages. And this will show me all of the pages that are in my course already. If it doesn't take you there right away, you might have to click view all pages and then it will show you all the pages that exist in your course. If you've been in there tinkering or copying things already, then you'll have to click view all pages and I can see everything that is here. All right. So I can find that page that we just copied in, which was this uh, elementary template homepage. So I can click the name of that page. And if I want to make this my own and add my own flair to it, I'll click edit. And now we have that wonderful rich content editor that I was showing you in an earlier Canvas tip. So I can add pictures, I can add links. So if I want this to go to all of my lessons for the course, the name for lessons in Canvas are modules. So I can, I actually already have the link here because the template copies it over for you. So you actually shouldn't need to change that. But if you do, you'll click link course link, and you can change that and edit that. And whenever I'm finished editing and making some changes here, I'll go down to the bottom and click save. Now, if I go through and I want this page that we copied in to be the homepage for my course, there is one more thing we have to do first. Um, really two things, I suppose I should say. I need to make sure that this page is published. So 
if we're comparing its learning versus Canvas vocabulary, on its learning, things were active or inactive. On Canvas, same principles, there's published and unpublished. If something is unpublished, students can't get to it, but teachers still can. If it's published, then anyone and everyone can get to it. So I need to make my homepage active, otherwise my students are going somewhere that they can't get to, they'll get an error message. And I can't make a page, my homepage for my course until it is published, which is probably a good thing. So I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna make sure that this little check mark is green. So right now it is published, but if it wasn't, I would make that green and that publishes it. The next thing to set it as the home page, I just click use as subject home. And if I see that button grayed out, like if I go to this page right here, that button is grayed out. And that's because again, the page has to be published for students to be able to set that as the home page and for you to set it as a home page for students, All right? So that's the elementary view. If I go over here into the secondary view and uh, I am in my course here, and this is the course we copied this home page into. It's a very similar process here. I'm gonna scroll down to this menu. I'm gonna select pages. And then if I only have one page, it'll just show me that page here. But if I have more, I'll click view all pages. And same principle, the page has to be published. So if I try to make it my home page, it's gonna be grayed out but I'm gonna select this little green button here to make it published. And then once I do, I can click use this front page. And now that course is my home page for my class. So pretty awesome feature there. And I would really strongly recommend that you do this step and you look at some of these templates that are there because we will really push you to use those in the future just to make things more streamlined for our students. And now's a great time to practice doing that. Um, a lot of the text that's on there, again, is just for your own training purposes as we get familiar for this. But the comments is a wonderful place to copy in those resources and make them your own. And if you have questions about that, as always, please let me know. But I hope you get excited about Canvas pages because it's you don't have to keep clicking, make a copy, make a copy, make a copy, like what you did on its learning. It's really easy to add it into your course. And if I ever wanted to, you know, maybe share a page that I've made with another teacher, it's super simple to do. I click the three dot button, I can send it to someone, or if I want to copy it into another one of my courses, copy it there in one click and it's done. So pretty awesome. I hope you were excited about this and have fun tinkering with home pages in Canvas.